now riding the back trails of Texas, a former Dallas motorcycle officer recalls a remarkable encounter he had within 90 seconds of the assassination. The first policeman into the depository was Marion Baker. I worked for the Dallas Police Department as a motorcycle officer and signed the motorcade that day. I was approximately five or six cars back from the lead car of the motorcade. I had gotten about halfway between Maine and Houston when I heard these three shots. And immediately I knew they was in front of me and high. And uh, as I looked up, I saw this huge flock of pigeons flying from the top of this building. I rode my motorcycle over to the corner of the intersection, parked it, and then ran in the building, which took me a very few seconds to do this. When I got through the front doors into the lobby of the building, I asked where the elevators or the stairs would be. And one man spoke up and said, I'm Mr. Truly, I'm the building manager. And he said, come on, officer, I'll show you. So he and I continued on to the back of the building and up some stairways at the back of the building to the second floor. And as we came out of the second, on the second floor, I saw a, through a doorway, a window in this doorway, uh, a man uh, movement. So I went over and opened up the door, and this man was walking away from it. And uh, the next room, I later found out was a coffee room. As seen earlier by his fellow workers, Oswald was still alone in the lunchroom. I called to the man, and he turned around, and Mr. Truly was there beside me, and I asked him if he knew this man or if he worked there. He said, yes, he does. He was calm, ordinary, you know. He, he didn't look excited or anything like that. 